stars in the sky are going out one by one. But no one notices it. No one can stop it. I'm racing to the last place where there is still hope. I need to make it before, before it is too late. The sounds of agony will quickly fade. The world will be destroyed. Even the memory of it will be gone. And even if there is absolutely no chance of bringing it all back, there will always be someone who is willing to do the impossible. In a place without space, without time, without memories. Where am I? I can't see anything except this is my head is killing me. I remember only a skeleton with a staff in the sky. This darkness is coming from him. Did he destroy everything around here? Just standing here won't do any good, I guess. All right, so we basically can pause it at any time and then unpause it. And as we unpause it, our hero will loop around. And as we loop around, we actually are going to build the map out and fight more things. And then we decide when we want to leave. You'll see it's, it's pretty straightforward. So we're just going to pause. We're in adventure mode. Hope to be able to find some shelter before nightfall. If such a thing and uh, such a thing as night still even exists without a sky, of course. Okay, we got a slime. So equip the uh, combat and all this stuff is nothing we can actually do. Um, when we pop into combat, uh, he remembers the creature. Uh, just auto, it auto does it. Ah, it's got such a good NES look though. Hard to fight with your bare hands. I think there's a weapon in the remains of this thing that's not fully digested. So we got an axe, four to six damage. Uh, and then over here is every time we kill things, we might get a card or something along those lines. And with a card, we actually can start filling out the map and each little piece of terrain will actually do something for us. So this grove on the right hand side will spawn a rat wolf every two days. The wolf can move to an adjacent tile. So basically a monster for us to fight, which means more loot. We're just going to pop this here and there's a grove. So we got an axe. Uh, forest rat wolf, I was right. Some emotional stress, a few colorful images, and a bit of adrenaline, and everything will be forgotten like a bad dream, or remembered as a bad damn. It's good uh, that nobody's listening. Yeah, good try. So we got a new uh, new one. So it's actually worse than what we have. And we've got a couple other things here. A forest, which is a thick forest. That'll give us a plus one attack speed. So we might as well just... I don't think it has a range, so put it right in the middle. And we got a little resource from it. And then a rock, which gives us HP. Uh, and then extra HP for every adjacent rock. So we'll start building rocks out here. I don't... I don't want to... I don't want to equip this. I guess it has a defense and this doesn't, so... But the other thing loses. So there are a uh, mountain over there and this forest over there. The world is just like new. The branches and stones in my backpack are sure a sign of that. Uh, so yeah. Uh, we lose what we get. All right. And then we do a loop. And I think it's time to get some rest. Uh, the game itself is a journey on a looped path. Only you will decide when it's time for the hero to return to this camp. Either you or the fangs and claws of your enemies, of course. You can retreat uh, almost any time, but a special animation will let you know when it's safe to do so. Uh, we don't have a choice but to leave, and that's the game. So we say retreat. We keep everything that we, that we retreat with as long as we retreat when we're at base camp. Uh, it's cold and dark here. A small fire can solve both of these problems. And then in between runs, we're building out a camp, which gives us benefits. Kind of like Rogue Legacy in a way, if you've ever, if you remember Rogue Legacy in that regard. All right, so let's build a campfire. This is going to give us the hero who stores 20% of his max HP upon entering the tile. So this is our base camp, what we kind of cross through every time. And now we've got a base camp. And now we go back out on an expedition. And that's the game. That's the loop of the game. And you can see how it can get that way. Uh, how there's some depth there, and yet it's so simple. This path, everything is wrong, but I remember. It looks like a completely different place, and it's empty again. Do my actions have any meaning? Like I have a choice. If I need to give up and cry to save the world, I am the worst savior of all. Let's do it. All right, so now we're doing an actual run. Beautiful. All right, what did we get? We got two vampire mansions. All right, adds vampires to the battle on adjacent tiles. Hungry eyes follow your every move through the holes in the roof. I don't know if this is worth putting down now. But we will put down the mansion right here. Now. We'll see what happens. Fuck it. I'm not going to put down the other one right now, though. We've got a ring. A 10% chance to counter. Easy. What else we got? We got a meadow, which will heal eight, 2 HP at the start of each day. So we might as well. No, not a lot of room in here. Uh, there is attachment and adjacency bonuses and stuff, so we're just going to pop it there. And then a cemetery, which spawns a skeleton every three days. 
Um, sure. We'll, we'll put the skeleton... I don't want to put any of the vampire because fighting them back to back is going to suck. Let's put it pretty close to the beginning of our loop after we heal. Another grove. Spawns a rat wolf. Yeah, it's a good game. Definitely worth checking out if you're into this kind of thing. The roguelike elements are great. All right, we've got a shield. Oh, right there. And then four to six, we don't have a weapon. So, hey, we've got some base equipment now. A little bit of a counter chance, some defense, and an actual thing that stabs. All right, our current shield is better because it is blue and has a regen. No vampire yet. Lots of slimes. Back off, human. Vampire, where are your lands? If your farmers need help, I would be glad to offer it. No more lands, no more flock. Only hundreds of years of emptiness. And hundreds of years of hunger! Save yourself while you still can. I don't know how long I'll be able to keep my head straight. What hundreds of years are you talking about? Your mind is easy to trick, but you can't trick my hunger. It demands its share. Every sip, every drop of blood will go to satiate it. I'm too weak, but you can help me and I will set this crumbled world right. Right. I'm doing this not just for myself, but for everyone in the name of good. So be grateful for my hard work and just let me bleed you dry. And now we have to fight him in a slime. Hopefully it works out for us. All right, we killed the, the slime. Yeah, we're going to be okay. He died very quickly. Hey, tactical hot dog. What up? Vampires often owned lands. They kept their peace and helped our settlements to prosper. But this won't do at all. Now they're just pale shadows of their former selves, both physically and mentally. Apparently, the blood of other creatures can't sustain them. He wasn't joking about the hunger. Even the creatures that stand near him are imbued with the power to devour someone else's life. Oh, uh, it's not perfectly placed over on purpose, but I like it. That was completely accidental. All right, we got a spider cocoon and another meadow, which we might as well put there. A spider cocoon spawns a spider on, on an adjacent tile once a day. Again, more stuff in a rock. We're gonna put the rock down. Uh, and yeah, we'll put down the spider. Another vampire. I wonder if it's worth actually putting down the other vampire mansion then. He seems to be going down pretty easily, so let's put down another one over here. A mountain is the same thing, and as long as it's a rock, just better, so more HP. Spawns another rat wolf. Here, we'll have another grove down here. Another meadow, which I guess we could just kind of slap over here. And another mountain. Perfect. Uh, what do we got? Vampirism. Yeah, let's go with vampirism instead of the counter. Everything else can stay. Give me that vampirism for the heels, dude. There's a little groving path, and we should heal. Oop. Nice. It gets hard quick, so don't expect it to be this easy forever. It really does get difficult fast. Defense and evasion, as opposed to regen. I'd rather stick with the regen, I think. Another rock, and another meadow. Two more meadows, stop. Yeah, this game's a lot of fun. Even what little little uh, work I put into it, or rather, what little I played of it yesterday was a lot of a lot of fun. Okay, now we got some spiders. They don't seem that bad, though they do attack very very quickly. Just gotta slap them a few times, no problem. All right, ten to sixteen damage, absolutely. We can replace our old one with that, and just damage to all. little grove near the vampire's home. I'm sure he kept a nice grove to himself. Oh my god, it's a lot of slimes. All right, we're going for the vampire first. Ooh, the slime evaded. Come on, kill the deep vamp. Good, you're good. And we're going to get ourselves better defense as well, which is fantastic. Okay, let's pause it. 
six damage and attack speed up. I'll take that over the 0.6 regen. And the armor is just way better. So far, so good. Another mountain of lighthouses, I think, good for money. Uh, decreases the maximum number of monsters on adjacent tiles. The effect, the effect of lanterns can stack. Building some rocks out. Uh, we got a treasury. Gives random resources to placing anything on an adjacent tile. So we want this thing to be open pretty wide. So we'll just give that a nice circle. And we'll put a mountain next to it, which gives us a resource plus the mountain's actual money. Should have put the meadow next to it, but that's fine. And a road lantern? We might want to do it like over here where we have such a huge spot. And then I'll hang on to the skeleton, I think. Because I'm just. What can I say? I'm a genius. Get another spider cocoon. We'll get another mountain around the treasury, and the cemetery will. Got another axe, which is worse. We got a battlefield that just spawns a chest at the start of each loop. Enemies on adjacent tile can become ghosts, so we might have to kill things twice. Interesting. up here with very minimal. I would like to see what's in the chest if we can get to it, you know? Another lighthouse, which honestly, we might put near the vampires at this point. Sure, we'll do that. And then another meadow here. Look at, look at how dangerous this freaking thing's becoming, Chad. Hopefully we're going to be all right. A beacon. 40% movement speed within range, 20% attack speed for all units. Well, I think that's something we can put... Okay, I see. Well, I think we should put it near this one where there's less spawn. And we're going to get a heal as we go through this. That was only loop two. Oblivion. Erases any established tiles. Ooh, interesting. Erases monster from the road. Oh, and there's a chest. Oh, that skeleton is unfortunately pretty strong. Let's go ahead and put that on. With vampirism and regen, I'm hoping it's going to go well. Another rock. We'll go ahead and throw it over here. Battlefield. We'll put the battlefield next to the beacon. Screw it. Put the cemetery. Kind of line up the cemeteries here. There's probably something to be said about, like, waiting for monsters to spawn. Um, before placing things down so you can kind of time out some, some spawns. Let's go hot. Solid max HP up there. I feel like we're doing pretty damn good, honestly. Let's pause it. Get that up there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What just happened? Why did I just get so much shit? Something just popped off. Oh, when you surround a treasure, it gives you a bunch of stuff. Oh, that's sweet. It might be worth... Oh, I wonder, actually. Does Oblivion remove all tiles or just some tiles? Or just the one you choose? Beautiful. 
beautiful. That's really cool. It removes anything but just the one. So like if I was like, hey, remove that and then do it again. Okay, it doesn't re... I was wondering if it would re-give me all that stuff. I had to experiment. I think we're gonna get out of here after this loop. We want this, right? Yeah. Maybe we will be okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's so many. Okay, hello. Oh, yeah. Fingers crossed. Okay, vampire's dead. Wait, wait, what's this? Armor, max HP is down. Magic defense, regen, and vampirism up though. I might do that just because it's good. Pause, 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 pause. A goblin camp spawns and they really suck. Oh, is that what that is right there? Whoa, 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 another one. When you loot, when you die during a loop, you lose 60% of all the resources you gathered for your home base. So I'm here, I need to get to here. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, honestly. I'm trying to help myself out. Yeah, just gonna keep putting beacons over here if I can. I don't wanna put a grove down. I'd rather take that, I think. Because if they hit me and I get a free counter, that's actually useful. Pause it. Okay, meadow doesn't turn into anything. Put a spider there. I mean, not like we're going to use it. But I really think I'm going to try and get out of here if I can. I don't know how the goblins are going to be. Invasion or damage to all four as opposed to a counter? That's probably a little bit better. Guarante I'd rather take guaranteed damage, you know? I'd rather do guaranteed damage. Okay, we're gonna move up. Stop! Where did these goblins come from? I don't remember remembering you. We remember ourselves! Now give us all you've got! <sighs> you have no idea what's going on, right? Why didn't you want you to help me restore order in this world first, and then you can do anything you want? Goblin must rob! No other order in the world! Fair enough, I guess. Don't, I guess I don't have any valid objection here. Oh wait, I do have one. How about... Murder! Oh my god, they're so fast. Oh, the counters are gonna save me. Oh my friggin' Jesus Christ. Appeared on their own, maybe it means everything is actually not so bad, and that the world is trying to restore itself, or that even the apocalypse is enough to get rid of some pests. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna try something here. What's that thing? What if I oblivion that? And then rock again. Ah, it does work on rocks, though. Hey, you Yanya, thank you for coming by as always, girl. Talk to you later. All right, we just gotta get through this shit. Filthy gobbos is damn right. So maybe anything that gets transformed when you do it is gonna, is like, will stay. Treasure chest. Okay, pause it. Never mind. Okay, now we're in the planning stage. We're here. We're done. We're gonna get out of here. So, uh, let's just drop everything else. through camp we'll hit this and that's our first run we're gonna keep all the stuff that we just got which is like just supplies for building and stuff and we'll lose nothing all right so this is our base camp i can't believe it hey everybody the boys managed to return survivors does this mean we're not alone anymore where'd you come from is there still a place without darkness 
We don't know where we came from, and we can't remember. These people you see are only a small part of what's left of the group, I think. You're, sh you're not sure? We're not sure. We reached out. We reached that conclusion because of the abandoned luggage and leftover daily rations. With each day, new signs of presence of people that, as far as everywhere, everyone here knows, have never ever been with us. It's like we were for we forgot about them. We forgot. Exactly. It's like people disappear every day, and we instantly forget they even existed. Almost as if we forgot this place we came from, and our families, and maybe even ourselves. My name is Yoda. That's the part I still remember. Nobody else's memory is in much better shape. That's why I remember so little about myself. Everything is forgotten. But wait, you said that I'd managed to return. That means you remembered I was here. Yeah, that's why it's so important to us. We saw you leave, but you were gone before we could approach you. Listen, we can't wander around in this emptiness anymore. There's a campfire and a few sleeping bags here. A real luxury in these dark times, what do you say? Oh, of course. I'd be very grateful if we could team up. I want to restore everything. I've begun to remember the world as it was before, but there's no point to it without p other people. It's too lonely without them. Remembering the world? I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm too exhausted, but we'd be glad if you could help us, and we'd be glad to help you. Just don't ask us how to go with you. Hey, Malf, thank you for the raid, brother. Rock and stone. I can't wait to fucking play some more with you. Rock and stone indeed. Thank you, thank you. Leaving the group is too dangerous. I will ask no such thing of you. For now, I just want to have a place to return to, a place where I can hear other people's voices. All right, so this is the in-between. Uh, we weren't joking about helping you. Here are the few things that survived the cataclysm and didn't, didn't vanish away. Can't be forgotten, take them, you might need them. So we're gonna get some supplies. All right, so we're gonna, we can go on expedition, we can look at statistics, but we're gonna build. Um, very Rogue Legacy-esque, where we can make decisions on what we wanna build, as long as we have the supplies. The only thing we can build right now, though, is the field kitchen, so it's gonna give us 10% to healing power, so it's going to instead of 20% max, it'll give us 30, and we're going to unlock the Blood Grove card. So let's go ahead and click that. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll just put the kitchen here. I don't know if that connects us down there. Yo, Sinvicta! Do you know the difference between a good cook and a bad cook? The food may be made by a good cook is tastier. What, you were waiting for something more elaborate? Sometimes the truth is very simple. Look, I have a cauldron, a hearth, a couple of knives, a bucket of potatoes, three onions, and some ham. Nothing special. Everything is very simple. But give me a few minutes and everyone in this camp will be running to my, running to my table following the tasty smell of a good stew. All right, so uh, that's it. That's all we can build right now, it looks like. We, uh, yeah, we can't build much else. So we need to go back out there and just start collecting and rebuilding the world. Uh, so we'll just do another run. Yep, let's do it. Uh, do we keep the armor we have? That's just the cards. Okay, these are the cards that we... That are just going to show up, I assume. All right, let's go. Uh, no, we do not keep... We do not keep the, uh, our old gear. That's fine, that's fine. I figured that was the case. Back into it. Oh, we are double timing. Well, now we just sit back and chill and watch things happen. Sorry, I just got an email that was not what I was expecting. Good, don't worry. Very good. Just not remotely what I was expecting. Okay. Heals 2 HP at the start of each day. Uh, yeah, we'll get another vampire out there. <laughs> All right, another vampire mansion. I don't know if I want another one. But we'll definitely start doing mountains up top. What do you think of the game, everybody? Seems pretty fun, man. I really like it. I want it after the heal. Hey, Zade, what up, brother? You love my thumbnails on uh, YouTube. Zade's the one that does. Hey, treasure chest, let's go. Not a mimic. Mimic. 
Dude, Loop Hero is great. I'm gonna be doing a. I'm gonna be turning this VOD into a YouTube video. By the way. <laughs> if you wanna, if you wanna thumb it up. God, this mimic is crushing me. I should be putting a shield on, but. Okay, what do we get? Magic damage, regen, that's good stuff, honestly. Well, I'm glad I didn't put a vampire down right away. We'll do damage to all, as opposed to just rounded damage. Okay, so we always are hitting everybody. I like it. I'll keep what I got. A grove is the rat wolf and another mountain. I'm gonna fill the center one last. Yo, this is a bop. They really nailed the NES vibe. Healed up, not fully healed unfortunately, but that's fine. One more mountain, please. Okay, good, not a Mimic. Magic damage in defense. Magic damage, I'd rather keep the heals, I think. Some max HP can go a nice long way, though. Yeah, get that double evade, dude. You love to see. God, that rat is annoying. I wish I could put it there. But I cannot. Uh, armor. Honestly, we'll go to 7 to 11. And just like that, boah, we get the peak. Gen baby. Okay, okay, Goblin Camp shows up after. That's annoying. But we get Oblivion, we'll definitely pop that. Excuse me, what the fuck was that thing? Hey, Roman! Okay, first. Wipe that thing out. We're gonna need a little shining beacon of get rid of monsters down there at some point. It's going good, man. Let's check out some loot here, though. I'm gonna switch it. I'll go for the dagger. Get that attack speed up. Get rid of that damn goblin, at least. Can we already look at this yet? Come on! Stop missing! Oh, it's gonna be a uh, port of mobile? That makes sense. Honestly, though... Yeah. It, would, it would do real well uh, on mobile. I thought Dan, Dan was able to do 30 of these, actually. Am I wrong? Max HP up. Yeah. Keep swapping them out as long as they keep coming. 
Yeah, I thought I could be wrong. I couldn't be remembering badly. Has Dan found his one true game? He might have. I like the Oblivion, we'll hold on to that. Because we're gonna get rid of the goblin camp with this thing, basically. God. They're so annoying. Jesus! The evasion! Let me hit you, please! Okay, hold up. Meadow. Meadow. Rock. Rock. No goblin camp, so we're good. Okay. Do I get another peak? No. You only get one peak. Let's just get through this area faster. No! What do you mean, no? You want to save the world. You want to ask for help. Our answer is no. How did you, but why no? We see far away. We see deep inside. For a long time, there has been just emptiness instead of the sky, but it doesn't stop us from seeing. Your saving of the world is one-sided and naive. Each person sees their own way of saving the world. That's why no one will ever join you. Fine, I don't fully understand it, but tell me your version. What does to save the world mean to you? My progeny and my kin, for them to be strong and to live. The part of the cycle of life and death. It is life itself. It is the world. I will kill you and feed your remains to my starving younglings, and life will go on. And how many lives does your blade give birth to by killing again and again? Only one. I don't want you or your children to die from starvation. Please try to see reason. If my mission succeeds, harpies can have all the sky and all the hunting grounds they need. I can't feed my children with your beautiful words. It's time to say goodbye. All right, well, she came from the mountain. I don't know how this is gonna go. She hits pretty hard and pretty fast. But we're, we're evading, which is going good. Ah, the road lantern. I feel awful by fixing one evil and becoming the source of another. There's no home for harpies except the highest mountains, but there's no food there. I can't imagine how they managed to survive if their mountains were cut from reality. Okay, we pause, we road lantern this whole fucking zone right here. Uh, and we have no camps to wipe out. Let's go through and see how we do. Lower your head down on those cutscenes, like match up with the body. Another battlefield. Another harpy's coming at my ass. Okay, we barely missed the harpy. Treasury, hey. I don't know if we're gonna have time to surround the treasury. I might try though. We'll see what we look like in health on this. I think we gotta go. I just think that I just created a fuck corner and that fuck corner is gonna do what it does best. So let's get out. We'll retreat with what we've got. Another success, you've returned and we still remember you, unbelievable. Yeah, it's good to be back, but I'd hardly call it a success. Uh, no back backseating right now. Uh, this is my first day with it, really. My old memories of the world are gone. The path is empty again, and there's only darkness everywhere I look. Interesting. So technically, you remember that there are things that you've forgotten. We should find a way to use that. Let's talk about something more positive. We managed to tidy the place up. It's time for the next step. What do you have in mind? Expanding the camp. We have all sorts of craftsmen, from cooks to alchemists, but they need all need a place to work. 
but we can't use the materials from, from around here. You're, you turn away for a second from a branch or a stone you've just found, and it's gone. I'm afraid only you can solve this problem. The materials that survived your trips always looked su uh, suitable for building. But these are just stones and, and splinters. How can you build something with them? Curious, eh? I noticed it with the fire you've made. The thing you obtained somehow infect everything similar with stability. Only in small amounts, but it's something. Even a small branch is enough to make a wooden wall exist without constant supervision. Cool. So we'll build. Uh, we can go with nothing, but we can't, we can't make anything yet. So we'll just go back out on another expedition. That's true. The, the fuck corner could give infinite glory. Oh, we're going the other way now. Mountain. Another rock. This song is a jam. It's a good one. Yeah, this game is filled with amazingly good music. Alright. Defense. Countering. And damn dagger that does give us some dig dang dang diggity dang evasion. there get some good loot going well this already i'm worried about becoming a fuck corner certainly he loved the waddle it's a good waddle a lot of cards from that slime that over there because I'm feeling I'm going to do something over there. <laughs> don't want it really overlapping with other monsters right now. Just seductively waddle. That's the plan. Are so good on this one. I could use a really good weapon of some sort, hopefully soon. Nice heal. Nice, nice, nice. We'll drop the meadow down. I'll hang on to the mountain for now, I guess. go for a nice counter percentage as well. Well, Oblivion will be good. I would like to wipe that camp out. Hey man, at least it's still like, he waddles with confidence. This is dangerous. Again, a kind of a rough draw on weaponry.
Harpy again. Now there's a counter a chunk of them. If we're lucky. Come on, can you just drop me a weapon, please? Oh, we might not make it through this loop. Just gotta hope for good counter procs while I'm also swinging. Okay. I'm not confident yet at all. some healing in there some vampirism instead of that counter since it's not really doing much for me hey industry move is basically done I am, there's no way i'm gonna survive there's just no friggin way for oblivion to drop at any point fuck as soon as i'm done the stream i actually will be going to edit shulamani and getting it uploaded alex has mailed me the final version Need more max hp because the counter chance is better honestly gonna survive this part right here. I think we finally die unless we get super duper lucky. I just don't think, I just don't see it. Down. Wait, wait, wait. Less defense, more damage to all. This, what the fuck is that eyeball? Yep, there it is. Woof! You've died in battle. Death does not favor the fallen, but it made a little exception for you. Uh, you keep 30% of all resources found, so not a great amount. Rough, rough go. I'm alive, but how? Thanks to us, a small group of us dragged me here. Uh, that's almost also interesting. Many of them vanished right before our eyes. Some we managed to avoid, but I think most of the beasts were, uh, were gone even before we left the camp. I think your trips are deeply connected to your memories, my friend. Something falls apart as soon as you're unconscious. Oh, okay, interesting. Well, no builds. Let's hope for a better expedition. Uh, probably like another 15 or so minutes I'm, I'm streaming. We'll see, maybe one or two more runs, we'll say. I won't, I won't put a timer on it. We'll see how these runs go. Or this run goes, and then we'll make a decision. damage to all but just having random magic damage. A little armor can go a long way. Okay, treasury. I think we're just gonna focus on the treasury treasury for the time being. So many people are really, really enjoying it.
really trying to get that uh, treasury done. I, I, I don't want to, I don't think I'll do the peak first, simply because if I do the peak first, I'll uh, have goblins to deal with. And early goblins might have been the reason I even died in the first place, honestly. Beautiful. Two oblivions in a vampire mansion, huh? <laughs> it's a good draw. Alright, hang on, pause. What do we got? A shield at 6 defense and 10 vamp. Regen, attack speed, damage to all, and magic damage. Perfect. That's a good start. Oh my god, okay, so boom. I think I am winning the video game. So they need three more rocks or mountains. A good weapon would, would go a long way too. Goblin Still good. Much better, much better time around this this uh this go. Freaking mimic. Come on! No, he didn't give me a ton, but hey, I'll take it. Vampire. Can you please just give me a goddamn, like, weapon that does more than four friggin' damage? Okay, we got a peak. What is that, a gargoyle? Oh, where he came from. And that slime is, like, super powerful. Oh, it's dead now. Maybe the gargoyle was buffing it? Or maybe it was just, I'm just dumb. That's not where I meant to put that. Honestly? I'm just gonna have him go through so we can collect. Dark slime? Where'd you come from? Yeah, it was the damage to all. Finally. Honestly, I'll take that. Even if I lose a little attack speed. We're gonna go like so, and then we're gonna do it again. Slowly, we're starting to get good weapons now. They are on their way. I'll keep the vampirism. Trying to get some spiders out of my inventory here. Okay, and we actually have a treasury. All right, that's actually exciting. We're gonna surround the treasury. 
I want to get this treasury surrounded on this on this excursion here if we can get so so lucky. Damn harpy. Wow, we actually two shot that harpy. That was way, way better than before. No mimic. Yo. Defense counter regen. Let's go. Another treasury. Now I want to get both of them done. What do you think, chat? Do you think we will be able to get through this and get both the treasuries? So because we certainly are gonna try. The gargoyle. We hit faster than they can. High hopes, it does look good so far. I, I like it. Optimistic? Oh, I, I appreciate all the positive thoughts on my uh, ability to win. It's alright. Yeah, I'm getting lucky on the treasury draws. Alright, if we can get an oblivion, that's gonna go. We gotta get another goblin camp. I can do it. You believe in me? No, no, I definitely feel like I'm gonna be able to do it. Is it a chance ever since you get a peak? Ever when you get a peak, is it just like a percent chance every time you put a, draw, a mountain or a rock down that you're gonna get a goblin camp? Or is that how it works? Treasury filled. Not gonna be it. So many monsters, dude. Gotcha. Okay, treasury. Done. Beautiful. No oblivion yet. I gotta be careful. Oh, I didn't see this. Twelve. Magic damage, defense, and vampirism. We get 8% vampirism and a defense too. I think I, I think we do it. Less health, more attack speed, higher evasion, higher vampirism versus a regen per second of counter. I'm gonna hang on to it for now. I don't want to make a decision quite yet. One every 10. All right, let's pause it. We've got a lantern. Go ahead and put a lantern there. Drop a rock there. We're not even half dead yet. We're actually doing kind of good. We might be able to pop both those treasuries. full grove there. We're healed. I'm going in for another one. I don't care. Let's fucking go. Yo, he gets so mad. Okay, his ally died. That makes sense. Okay, stop. Oh my god, we finally have a new weapon. I didn't realize we were operating on a base weapon for so long. The run to end them all. I'm gonna go for the attack speed here. I don't know if I'm popping off. I might be. A lot of graveyard. Still, we're, we're, we're cleaning up, man. 
Am I out of cards? No more cards? There we go, another card. The harpies are not that scary anymore. Uh, more max HP, higher counter. And we're gonna get another treasure. the freaking vampire mansions down there, but I just don't know if I should be like ignoring them or couple of rocks. Well, I guess what we should do is start building up keep up in this area. An oblivion would just would be so nice right now. I just want to take out a couple of the garbage freaking camps. a little bit of damage coming through to us now. All right, let's Oblivion out. Hang on. Honestly, let's Oblivion out that place. Drop another Grove. Shit, which is good. Ooh. Our evasion goes down, but we gain magic damage too and vampirism, which I think is worth it. As much vampirism as I can kind of haul into my own body is going to go a long way. next to it. All right, three goblos. This is gonna be a little scary because as soon as one dies, one's gonna get pissed, yep. Let's hope he can't get double in raid. Easy, man. Mimic. Oh, it's a ghost. All right. 18 damage to all, man. Nah. Magic damage, attack speed, man. Nah. All right, another peak. Nope, right. We can only do one peak. I actually forgot about that. I don't really know what else to do with the vampire house, you know. I feel like we need to drop it. What? What? What just happened? What the fuck? Incursion! Radiates with powerful energy that powers space and time itself? It is time to face the destiny of this world? What? Lich's palace? What just happened? What just happened? Oh no. Where's my camp? Uh-oh. 
Oh no, no spoilers, chat, but I don't know what's about to happen. All right, drop a peek in there. Here we freaking go. I don't know what I just did. I thought I was gonna load up on treasure chests and I was gonna put beacons over there to make sure we get minimal other problems. This song, bro. I don't know, the vampirism is so valuable, but max health is so high. I might just drop it in there for the extra health. Okay, let's pause it and let's drop some more meadows. Uh, less. More, ma more magic damage. I think it's better because overall do more damage. Ooh, baby, this is rough. Oh my god. There's so many freaking rat monsters. this shit, dude. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Just give me more health. I'm gonna take this for the regen this time. Okay, we have Oblivion. We can actually maybe get our way out of here. All right, let's stop for a moment. We gotta think this through. Oblivion, Oblivion, Oblivion. It might be worth just fucking wiping the town. Now, these guys are probably okay. I'm just gonna wipe the monsters there. Okay, cards turn into resources. Got it. Okay, we're gonna try and just get through here, I guess. Oh, we're not gonna live. There's no way we're gonna make it to the end. Okay, here's the thing. Just need the day to turn over. I don't know where the day. Oh, it's up here. Okay, we got a while to go. I'm trying to just build up. Hopefully, enough healing. If we can take the day over, we'll at least get a little bit of health, you know? Okay, regen per second is higher. Let's go and swap that there. Rocks. Miss 
thing is bad. Please don't, I was going to say, please hopefully either kill the goblin first or just he doesn't consider the slime a friend. Uh, do we want to counter? No, I want the region, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think we die here. Like, whatever that is, it's probably just a boss fight that we can't really face. But I need to see it. Oh, Dracula, dude. At least we're fighting Drac first. I don't know what this is gonna do. Here we go. Yeah, oh, it's the lich. Yeah, I'm failing. How? How is this even possible? That's right. You didn't devour me like the rest of the world. Haven't I? Did you really not? Oh, no, sorry. Do you really don't think so? Do you really don't think so? That's not how it goes. What are you talking about? I'm standing right in front of you. in a separate pocket dimension. Spaces, living beings, information, even memories. They shall remain there until entropy does its work, turning everything into a uniform, static mass. Along with you, of course. You're insane. So, what do we have here? I see. You found a way to interact with other pieces of your reality. To organize, combine, and merge them, but how? I don't see any exceptional talent or knowledge in you. You hardly even happening right i'll tell you what's happening a pile of bones is butchering my world and thinks it can get away with it you're already doomed and you know it perhaps you were just the first in a series of systematic errors a problem i must learn to solve let's not waste any time then i don't think you're capable of feeling regret but i'm about to change that all right we're about to get whooped yeah five something oh my god 29 damage yeah there's no fucking way i'm dead all right, so I lose, I lose 60% of everything. All right, so three battlefields next to each other causes him to spawn, which is fucking bizarre. Uh, good to learn though. All right, well, we can build something now. The herbalist hut, potions heal 4%. You can take up to three potions with you. Unlocks a swap card. Sure. It's a miracle that we could find some fertile soil and that we were able to save some seeds of precious healing herbs. But the real miracle is that all these healing pul poultices and palms still have any effect. We've already lost so many people because of the cataclysm. It would be nice not to lose more to disease. And these potions can also help you. Take a bottle or two on your next trip and your chances of getting back unharmed will be higher. Well, well, well. I think that's what we call this stream, everybody. It has been uh, four and a half hours of uh, wonderful playing. From Valheim to Loop Hero. If you missed it, at least Loop Hero, you'll see it on the YouTube channel for sure. Um, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and uh, all the, the subs that we got earlier and all that support. Love you. Appreciate you hanging out. Hit that follow button if you want to see more of me when I go live. And I will see you next time. I'm old to nans, but I'm free, so I'm going away. Slowly lighting the life is a chance to me. It's no better to be safe than sorry to take all.